What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to another episode of Ruin a Randomer. As promised a couple of weeks ago, today I'm going to be using full manual controls. So this could be very, very interesting. I most probably won't win. I'm just going to throw that out there right now. Um, but to give myself the best opportunity, I've picked a silver team so that hopefully I only come up against a silver team. Uh, the team I'm running with, we have got at left wing, Vicento, and at right wing, we've got George. As our striker today, we've got Serejo or Serrero. Uh, the first centre midfielder is Duarte, and the second centre midfielder is Isufi, and the right centre midfielder is Durisic. At right back, we've got Rosales, and at centre back, we've got Moisander, and he is the upgraded version. The other centre back is Marcelo. And at left back, we've got Butner, and in goal, we have got Silesen. Uh, on the bench, I've got my Liga do Brasil team, um, just because. The, I basically like I, when I use this team, it gives the Liga do Brasil team some rest. When I use the Liga do Brasil team, it gives this team some rest, and it's just a nice way to rotate. So what I'm going to do, guys, is go into a game, and then pause it and switch the controls to manual, just so you can see that I don't put the controls to manual at the start of the video, and then possibly like cut the video and edit out footage where I actually change them back or anything. So it's simply going to be me using full manual controls. Uh, hopefully, I really, really hope I come up against some knobhead who does not know how to play the game. Because if I come up against someone awesome, I'm going to be in trouble, you know. Um, uh, apparently, people don't actually want to play me with the silver team. Uh, but yeah, so th this could be a lot of fun. It's something I've wanted to try for a while. Come on, mate, just play me. He has no idea that I'm going to be using manual control, so it, it's definitely in his best interest. Um, I'll go into the match first and so that it doesn't pull out whilst I'm changing my control settings. Uh, he's got a pretty decent team, Nigeria team. A few bronze players, a few silver players. And then, of course, up front, Martins and Odem Wingy. So, pace-wise, he's got, he's got a lot of pace there. He's probably looking at my team thinking, oh, yeah, because, uh, you know, I, I enjoy using this Dutch league team. But um, they they don't really have anything about them like that. They're six four star skillers for sure, but there's no pace whores. You know, there's there's nothing really like that to to give me a massive edge. Um, not that pace is everything in this game, but when I come up against pacey players, I tend to keep the possession a lot, uh, which is going to be real hard for me when I have to use manual controls because I can't pass the bloody ball properly. All right, let's go into uh, wireless control settings. And um, let's just put it all on manual. Boom. Don't want analog sprint on. There we go, guys. All manual. Everything's on manual. Um, so we'll see how we go with this. Like I, I thoroughly expect a crushing defeat. If I, if I lose by only like five goals, I'd probably be happy because defending's still going to be the same. But the guy's going to have a lot of the ball. Obviously, you know he's going to be. Um, I don't know. He's, oh wow, this is a straight away noticeable. Um, but yeah, I can just see him having a lot of ball as my passes go absolutely to the wrong positions I expected them to go to. Uh, that's actually a nice ball through there. Come on, son. Oh, penalty ref. Ah, oh, come on, ref. The shooting as well is going to be something really, really tough. Uh, I played manual shooting on FIFA 11. Um, for a while just to see what it's like because people tell me that you can actually get better um, better shots and better accuracy and stuff if you master manual shooting something that I never managed to do but uh, we'll try it this one like I say it's not going to be easy by any stretch of the imagination but we will give it a try so oh wow that's a terrible ball this is the left back can we whip a decent cross in? No. Oh, first shot. I'm going to take that as a shot on target. Um, so, guys, yesterday I actually played some major league gaming on Virgin Virgin Sports website. Um, they're like their, you know, their gaming website, if you like. And uh, I won my first two games, which was awesome. Um, so I'm, I now have a 2-0 and record in MLG, but somebody said to me that it's actually pretty... Oh, thank God he missed that. It's actually pretty easy until you get to the point where 
you're playing for massive amounts of money. Like the qualifiers and stuff are apparently just like people that aren't very good at FIFA or just, you know, do it like I did it. Like, you know, they just think they'll give it a try. Um, oh, what a save keeper. Um, so, yeah, but I mean, it was fun. It was tense for me. Like I was like, I was nervous the whole games. Uh, the first game I didn't actually play a game. Like we got to the, we got to a point where you had to pick the teams and the guy just kept trying to make me pick a different team. And when I didn't pick a different team, he quit, and I got a win for it. Uh, he picked Manchester United, and I picked England, which is exactly how the second game was picked as well. Like the guy picked Man United, and I picked England. Um, and uh, yeah, he, he kept like he kept switching off, and then in the Virgin chat box, like on the website, he called me a cheater, and I said, "How am I a cheater?" And he said, "You're not allowed to pick international teams." And I, I like I looked at the rules. And there is nowhere in the rules that states you're not allowed to pick the international team. So he was just a bit bitter. Obviously, I don't know if he'd just taken a loss to England or something like that. But uh, yeah. Um, but the the second the first game was for um, a seat in the four hundred thousand dollar prize tournament. Um, and if you win two games in a row, you get you get entry to it basically. Um, so I've got one one game down in that situation. Like if I win the next game, I will be in. Oh wow, that is awful. I will be in the the, the official tournament for the four hundred thousand dollar prize. Um, the second game was just a guy that challenged me. Five dollar entry. He paid five dollars. I paid five dollars. A winner takes eight dollars eighty, and I guess Virgin take one dollar twenty. Um, and I I talked about this already, didn't I? Did I? Pretty sure I did. I might have done. Maybe I talked about this one in Cal Freezy's video yesterday. Anyway, for those of you that didn't watch it, oh god, this guy's gonna score for sure. Oh, what a save keeper. Um, yeah, and so basically I won eight dollars eighty. I just really re I remember explaining that already. Um, so apologies if I did. Um, but yesterday's video with Cal Freezy. For those of you that missed it, uh, we'll be doing a challenge series. The first challenge is called Race to a Team Hat Trick, where basically we have a set team, exactly the same players, uh, and it's the first person who can get hat tricks with all 11 players on the team is the winner. Um, so far, I've got three hat tricks, and Cal Freezy has also got three hat tricks as well, actually. Um, he's got one with. Um, He's got a hat-trick with Danny Alves already, uh, whereas I have only got hat-tricks with the striker, the right midfield, and the centre midfield. He's got his right back in there, um, which is awesome for him, but not so good for me because the defenders are going to be real tough to get hat-tricks with. Um, oh, could have uh, could have got a shot away there. It's going to be real tough for me to score from outside the area because of the shooting. It's gonna be real, real tough for me to score anyway, but I think, I think so far, 33 minutes in, I've actually done all right. I mean, the first time I played with the no chem team, the amount of try hardness that I gave—that's not even a word—but the amount I tried harder to um, win was so much more, just because I knew that I had such a, a bad opportunity to win. If that makes sense. Um, oh, that's a ball. Oh, um, yeah. So like, I'm really trying to focus on my passes and stuff here. And uh, hopefully this will, after seeing this, it may encourage more people to try manual controls because there's, manual controls are just something that you never really see. Or if you do see, like I, I don't know if I play against some people with manual controls. Like, I could come up against lots of people against manual controls, I just wouldn't know. Um, but as far as I know, uh, manual controls aren't really the, the thing to be done. That was terrible. I've lost the ball more times from stupid possession football than I have from passing it stupid. Um, oh, damn, he's through. What a save keeper. Um, other than that, guys, we've got the second season of VSG starting this Sunday. The format of VSG is going to be a little different this time around. We're going to be going 2v2s in the tournament instead of 4v4s. Uh, so it's going to be... It's going to be a league system as well, like a full league system instead of two mini leagues and then a knockout system. So basically what you're going to see is... Oh, thank God he missed. Um, basically what you're going to be seeing is eight teams, the same eight captains as last season. And they will play, basically they'll play seven games each, no home and away, just one game. And uh, the winner is the guy that finishes top, I guess. Um, as with most leagues, you know. Um, oh, Jesus Christ, he's missed again. Um, so that's that's going to be a lot of fun. It's it's going to be a lot more interesting to see 
how well each player actually is rather than with when you've got four people it's like it's so much easier to lose focus of what's happening because you're with four people you know you've got to rely on so many other people to do it and uh, you've obviously got one any and three people controlling one person so it just it really changes the way um, everything goes about on the on the game with two people with the 2v2s that we're going to be doing both players are going to be in any so it's really going to come down to who who the better team are who's better who can do better teamwork and and things like that so i'm really excited but guys if you i've actually bossed him in possession that's incredible i didn't think i would have done uh, but shots <laughs> that uh the only four he's had on target have been outside the box anyway but say la vie um yeah, so VSG this this Sunday coming 8 p.m. as usual on the Twitch TV channel. I'll leave the Twitch TV, the YouTube, and the um, Twitter link to VSG in the description. So if you guys want to go and check that out, that would be awesome. And I, of course, will be featuring this uh, this season. And my first game, guys, is going to be against Air Japes. So it's going to be a very difficult game. Oh my God, he was offside anyway, but that was a terrible shot. It shows. It goes to show, I guess, how how I'm just going to watch a replay. Like, if I was on automatic shooting, that would have gone in for sure. But it goes to show how bad my aiming is using automatic and how much like aim assist I get from the computer. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's it's quite crazy just how much they help me. Um, oh, that's not what I wanted. Come on, defense. Where we where we at? Where we at? Yeah, if in doubt, clear it out. Save it. No, jammy bastard. He's going to score that. Oh, what a save again. Oh, my God. This is incredible. I have no idea how I've still got this ball. I have no idea how I haven't haven't conceded a goal. Oh, Rosales. Oh, ref, that's got to be a foul. That's got to be a foul. And now he's throwing goal. This is going to almost definitely be a goal for him. Wow, he's missed again. He can, he can just do some small things different, and uh, he would be, he would be three or four goals up for sure. But he keeps trying those long range shots. Oh, here we go again. Great defending, and again, great defending, and again. Jesus, the match stats here are going to be terribly out of my favour. Oh, that was terrible. I can feel the pressure coming from him now as well. Pressure cooker is on. Him and his one, two, three balls. No, my passing is going really bad. Yes, keeper, that's yours. Right, come on. Let's, uh, let's actually try and get somewhere with this. No, that was terrible, wasn't it? Oh my god. Train. Um. Get up, mate. That's never a penalty. Oh, that's a nice ball. That's not such a nice ball. That was almost like a through ball. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Right, let's go. Um, other than that, guys, nothing's really been happening. Hit 34,000 subscribers yesterday, so I thank you all very much for that. That's absolutely amazing. Been growing really really quickly recently and I can't thank you guys enough you know um, for all the new people that are here to my channel and stuff like very much welcome welcome to be here I try my best to upload daily I'll also be trying my uh, my absolute best to upload oh whoa what a save keeper I will also be trying my best over the coming weeks to upload two videos a day just uh, just to hopefully kind of captivate a wider audience um, I'm just looking at the uh, the audacity as well and looking at the microphone. If this audio volume is quite low, uh, I apologise. Also, the reason why I sound like I've just woken up um, is pretty much because I've just woken up. So I'm I pretty like I literally I got up, I took my dog out, and uh, then I came and started making a video because it's now two o'clock. Um, and I, I, the the funny thing is, like I usually sleep around. Uh, Probably I'd say, oh ref, that's got to be a foul. 
probably around six hours a day at most um, but yesterday I went to sleep at like three o'clock and I didn't wake up until like 1.30 this afternoon so really had a, a very long sleep but the, what happens to me is when I have those long sleeps like that is I'll now be tired again in like no time at all I don't know why but by like 10 o'clock tonight I'm gonna be really tired again and that's that's not good oh that's great defending and that's terrible defending oh he's gonna score there gay man lucky son of a bitch ah he probably deserves a goal for the amount of shots he's had but um that's that's hard to take hard pill to swallow in the 75th minute especially when it was nothing to do with the uh, the manual controls that cost cost a defeat you know oh run run oh my god all I had to do was hit the target but I couldn't I couldn't even hit the target from there that's embarrassing come on Duarte let's have a shot oh wow Ref referee he's obviously just taken me out there can I not have a free kick for that please Jesus Christ oh what a butner Oh wow, oh wow, that is terrible. Um, yeah, so this is my first full live, uh, my first ever manual control game and I'm, I'm quite happy so far with the fact it's only 1-0. Should have probably scored a goal just a second ago. Uh, didn't, but you know, oh well. Oh, shot on target, we'll take that every day. Um, you know, some sometimes doesn't necessarily go how you want it to. Yes, go, shoot, shoot, no, just shoot the ball, god damn, um, no, go on mate, play over the top, there we go, um, yeah, so thank you all for watching this, uh, very, very difficult game to play, and if, for those of, those are the people that are just going to be sitting here as per usual when I lose a game, calling me the, you know, the shittest FIFA player ever, uh, just, do me a favor and go and try out manual settings and for those of you in general that just think you're good enough to play manual settings and think you could do a better job than me uh, I will happily watch any video from anyone that plays a full manual game just make sure you put in the video show yourself making it full manual because otherwise I'm not going to believe you um, so yeah I will happily watch any videos of anyone else playing fully manual um, and if there's any full manual players out there let me know how the hell you play better like give me some tips give me some tips on full manual controls so that I can get better with full manual because it's definitely something like I say people have told me if you can master full manual you'll be a much much better FIFA player than uh, on automatic um, so if there's some specific tips anyone can give me um, that would be awesome I, I guess like one of the biggest things you could say would work is just to practice um, which is obvious um, but this like this makes me feel like oh come on ref that's never full time straight away this makes me feel like I've never played FIFA before this is the first time so uh, Mr. Run For You Life beat me 1-0 I think this is the first Ruin a Random I've actually lost on FIFA 12 which is crazy because uh, I lost a few on FIFA 11 on my FIFA 11 series um, and we'll have a look at the match details so I have better possession my pass accuracy was 70% that's not actually too bad um, but in terms of shots and shots on target, he was very, very unlucky to only score one goal. So I'll, I'm quite happy with the 1-0 defeat. Uh, I'm pro pretty positive if uh, if I played on automatic um, settings, I would have beaten him. But this is the end, guys. So as always, thank you very much for watching. If you could hit that like button, it would mean a lot to me. If we can creep up to 1,000 likes again today, um, I will get out a, a crazy couple of videos tomorrow. So um, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.